Well, hey everybody, this is my inaugural YouTube video for Sculpture Tech. Um, uh, what I'm going to show you today is my, the fruits of my last uh, couple of weeks of COVID-19 induced isolation. I made a, uh, a low workbench uh, after a classic design, pretty loosely after a classic design called a low Roman workbench. Um, the original was made for, uh, for woodworking. It's made for working on planks of wood. Uh, so it's quite a bit lighter and it was um, uh, sort of engineered for the technology of the day, which was all muscle powered. Uh, that's why it's, it's low and uh, uh, it's sort of low and geared towards kneeling on. Uh, you don't really have to need to kneel on wood to work on it anymore. You don't really need to be above it. So these have gone almost totally out of fashion for woodworking. But it did have possibilities for a sculptor. So let's look at it. This is an 18th century engraving of a low Roman workbench. It's got uh, apparently made from a log. It's got some interesting work holding features on it that are different from mine, but you can see it's, it's the same general idea. All right, let's run through these pretty fast. The simplest, the simplest thing is that it's adopted for, it's got holes in the top, and the holes in the top are intended to hold down for use with hole fasts. And these are what hole fasts are, they're just springy pieces of steel. Now, I don't think, any, I don't think anybody alive could rip that piece of wood loose. Uh, these things hold it like iron. But watch. Just a tap, and it's loose. So I, I drilled a bunch of holes in the top where I thought I might someday want these. Um, and I expect by the time this has been in use for a couple of years, they'll be, uh, it'll look, look like I shotgunned it. But, It also has larger um, holes, one and a half inch holes for sticking in uh, these sort of bench dogs. And those are meant for, to give you something to work against. You have to work on the flat. They give you something to work against. Now, even half inch dowels, there could probably be more than enough for this. But I made these one and a half inch, I made these massive because I want to put not just wooden planks to be planed on here, but I want to you know be able to show a you know half a ton of stone up against it and not have them snap off or or, or get too abused. So the the top is sort of all geared for work holding down. There's lots of ways to do it, clamps fit everywhere. Is a, you know, you reach all over it with clamps. So there's a million sort of variations on that. But one of the um, one of the handiest little things is that it's designed to allow you to put a, just any kind of peg you want in there. You can use this feature called a crochet, which is this brown wood piece here. You just shove the wood in there and it's held quite firmly for purposes of landing on the top. Right? So that'll hold it right in there. And you may want to hold longer wood. So now we're going to combine a couple of these, a couple of these features. It's a good place to introduce this, which is The, the clamping system based on these notches. These notches are designed to be used. That piece is in there, so literally as solid as, as if it were glued in place. Now I just shove my hold faster a peg in there and, uh, and hold it fine. Or if I get really if I 
really want it secure, I can use it as a, I can use these guys as old fasts and not just as pegs. And now that's, that's, there's no way that's going, it might as well be part of the bench, super uh, tightly held in place. Now, not every, not every piece of wood is as wide as this, so it's, apron here that I'm using to, to attach the hold fast to is also designed to accept a piece of standard with two and a half inch wood um, so that I can just set a, a much narrower board and, uh, and hold it in place at, a, at a, uh, quite a bit higher off the bench. So there's a million little variations on that. One, one that I, while we're sort of looking at this, the way this is constructed, it's it's a trestle, and with a, with a standard sort of bridge here uh, between the sides. That bridge is quite deep; it's like seven and a half inches deep um, to give it a lot of resistance against racking this way. If you, if you put a big block of stone on it, shove it this way, you don't want it folding up. So it's got a lot of strength um, in that vertical plank, and that gives you. A very convenient place to rest things like this. And I'm carving a big block of stones set up here. I just put my toolbox right there. That uh, slot goes all the way through. There's a, a couple of places where the bench sits on the bridge on a, on a batten, but in most of it, the hole goes all the way through so you can have a wing on both sides or either side. Um, I kind of like these grandpa uh, toolboxes because uh, they're, they're, they seem kind of heavy and uh, they are kind of heavy and that, that's a nice robust thing to, to hold its own weight down. Just a, a, you know, those modern ripstop nylon ones are great, but um, these are better as a component of, the, of this kind of workbench. So um, there went my little peg. So that's, that's sort of some, some basic features of using woodworking. But as I say, it's not really designed just for woodworking. I mean, it's designed to just sort of knock apart and go back to the So that's the basics. Um, now come the add-ons. There's a lot of part, a lot of ex, a lot, of, a lot more stuff to say. So I made a, a pair of matching saw horses to go with this. You know, see what these look like. Really so similar in construction, uh, similarly robust, um, but they have two two rails on top. The rails are extra wide because I don't know if you've ever been a carpenter, but you do an amazing amount of your work teetering on top of the rail of a single. So ours, <laughs> it's got all these tools there and things balanced there. So these are extra wide. There's also two instead of one. So for a, a lot of the times, you can just throw a single piece of wood on top, and uh, and you don't need to set up two saw horses, which is a huge convenience if you've ever worked around saw horses. The other thing is um, now they're they're designed to be exactly the same height. bench. So we can just easily set up like this. Um, grab a couple of bench bars. Now you have a rock solid um, scaling board that you anywhere. It's very, very solid. Uh, and yet, it breaks down in a second. The pair of them are also designed to work together in the same way. So you can easily make a small bench to get up and work on stuff. 
point. So they're, they're really uh, designed with sort of flexibility in mind. You can set up quite a large um, scaffold around something by, by setting up a pair here, one at the other end, and now you can, you can surround a whole substantial piece of sculpture sitting on the floor with a uh, scaffold that breaks up and, and comes apart like nothing. Uh, now, we'll set these aside for just a moment. Because we're going to see how they work with this. Now, this, this is really one of the main, this is really the first little prototype of, of to test out sort of the basic idea, basically, which is why there are four of these notches instead of just one. And 90% of what you do, you could do with one of them. But um, this is designed to be used to allow you to attach on a completely solid elevated work surface that you can um, sort of position a piece of um, something up here and work on it at a convenient height. Um, I also envisioned having little, uh, uh, like, restaurant high chairs for little kids, so I could put, up, put one here, so I could just change height, work here, slide it under, work here, sort of, uh, it's, th this, this was sort of uh, designed to be the first of a, of a series of components like that. Of course, since it's just slapped together with two by fours and looks like a drunken and depressed person made it on a bad day, it is naturally the most useful and heavily used piece of the whole thing. So it's, uh, uh, it'll be nice to make, um, to make a new one in the style of this other stuff that isn't really a, a video embarrassment. Um, but back to our scaffolds. These guys are very much designed to be used in conjunction in this kind of situation. There's a, a portable tool tray uh, that sits on it. Um, there's nothing stopping you from having one just like it on the other side. It's totally convenient. This is really the way I mainly work. It's like this is sort of the um, these are, you know you can knock things off, end up getting caught in here instead of landing on the cement floor. It's um, this is the total reason to make it, is to be able to have, have these guys, uh, a, a range of these. I'm going to make one about, as, about this high, and uh, one about the height that this is. And the two of them combined with uh, 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 a restaurant high chair um, should give a tremendous amount of flexibility. Um, and of course, the, way too. They can simply clamp down anywhere. Or they can be fixed down with uh, pull fasts. Now I didn't really uh, position these properly, uh, these holes, to, to use them with the hole fasts. Um, this way. I, I wanted to wait and see where, they, uh, where the best place to put them is. So when I've used it this way so far, I've just set them up like this. There's a standard hole in all of them to accept pegs. These don't, don't skip. And you can clamp that down or whatever. But this is sort of what I, I had in mind so that I could then work up on 
hide things like this. And this is quite solid once it's once it's all in there. It's not going anywhere. <clears throat> so that's it. That's the basic functionality of the sculptor's version of the low Roman workbench. Um, covered all the sort of high points of functionality. A few minor things I didn't cover, you know, as a sort of a scheme for attaching uh, various vices and things like that to it. But we got all the, all the, the big stuff. Uh, what we didn't cover is how to make it. It's all made with uh, inexpensive Douglas fir dimensional lumber from the big box store. Uh, uh, the tools are pretty simple. The skill level is, that required is modest to put something like this together. So uh, maybe next time we'll make a uh, we'll make something like this, a sort of sawhorse-like work platform to replace the horrible, scary-looking ugly one. Um, and and that'll that'll really cover all the, the sort of skills needed to to make one yourself. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.